Well, under normal circumstances, I'd be outside and showing you around out there, but it's really cold and really windy. So we're inside, we're in the studio today, and I want to take some time to give you some thoughts on uh, power shovels. And in this case, uh, to be more specific, Toro's 60 volt power shovel. It's the second year that I've used it. And last year, um, my first year with it, the snow was not really all that great. But this year, the snow has been decent enough to really test it, to see what it could do, and to see what I really think. And I'm ready to share some thoughts with you. Here we go. started here's just a quick brief overview of the tool uh, it's a 60 volt product meaning that it fits within Toro's very dense lineup of 60 volt tools so if you've already have started building that collection it'll work with the same batteries and batteries are interchangeable great thing um, it has a 12 inch clearing width and a plastic single stage like paddle and you can get it uh, just the tool, no battery, for $289, or it comes with a 2.5 amp hour battery for $349. And I'll start out by saying that this tool should not be considered a replacement option for a snowblower. I think that's kind of a given, but I wanted to just put that out there anyway in case you were maybe thinking of that. The idea behind this is to eliminate most of the the shoveling you would normally do on walkways. So thin areas, uh, walkways up to your house, up up the driveway, um, in between cars, I found it to be really helpful and really useful. Since it's part of the 60 volt line, um, like I said, that makes it super convenient. Um, You have extra batteries ready to go. One other thing to bring up here is that the tool itself does have some weight to it. And that's something to keep in mind. This is heavier than a regular shovel. And of course, when you're shoveling snow, the snow is gonna add weight to the shovel too. So I think that would kind of balance this out. Uh, But when you're deciding on batteries to use for it, if you have some of the Toro's bigger batteries, like the six or seven and a half amp hour batteries, those are gonna add even more weight to the tool. So that's just something else to keep in mind. Now, some of the storms that we've had here have been pretty windy. And there are areas around my property that build up some pretty good snow drifts in the neighborhood of a foot or so deep, which is really nice to be able to test some of these these tools. Um, With as small as the business end of this thing is, I was really surprised with just how well it was able to clear out these areas. I did my best to clog it, to stall it, and was only able to get the motor to cut off once or twice but backing off of the snow and re-engaging it with the motor already running took care of it, no problem. I was able to move the snow even in uh, 12 inch plus deep drifts. Now there are a couple of things that I mentioned in my first video that I do still stand behind. Like I said, it does have some weight to it and it's not the most ergonomically friendly tool. Uh, I still wish that it was longer and I wish the business end was a little bit wider, at least as nearly as wide as a standard snow shovel. Being able to clear a sidewalk in two passes rather than three or four would be a significant improvement to this tool. Another thing to consider is that the snow can only be thrown in one direction, forward, Uh, and that's not adjustable. So when you're using it, you need to make sure that you're planning ahead and paying attention to where you're throwing the snow uh, when you're clearing it away with a power shovel. Uh, You want to make sure that the kids are out of the way. Uh, You want to make sure that the pets are out of the way and that you're not aiming at any cars or windows on your house, things like that. So overall, I think this is a great addition to Toro's lineup. I think it adds to the diversity of the tools that they offer. 
Um, but I don't think it's for everyone. I don't think that it's absolutely necessary to have. I think it's really convenient. Um, you don't have to literally shovel the snow uh, out of the way of the walks or anything like that wherever you want to use it. Uh, it throws it out really nicely for you. Um, but you just got to keep in mind it has it has its quirks. And if you can get used to that and get past that, then it's definitely a nice thing to have in the garage during the winter months. As far as price points concerned, I do think it is a little expensive. It's on the steep side, especially uh, if you're only looking to replace a shovel. Um, it does make the work a little bit easier and it's kind of fun to use, I'll admit that too. Um, but it is an investment and um, that's something that you would definitely need to consider. It's definitely cheaper to get the tool only. So if you're already invested in Toro's lineup, then you're not going to be really using batteries for a leaf blower or a lawnmower or any any kind of tools that you'd normally use during the spring and summer months. So you would already have batteries on hand ready to go. So that's something to consider. But even still, $289, that's, that's a pretty high price point. And it just comes down to whether or not that's worth it for you. Um, I, I enjoy having it around. I like having it. And I look forward to uh, continuing to use it again and to see how uh, it holds up over time. Um, I, I did mention it's plastic parts. I'm not using it every day. I'm not using it um, more than a few times a year, to be honest, because we just don't get consistent snow like that. So for me, it's lasting a long time and it's not really showing any wear or tear at this point. I do know some people who have used it more than I have, and they are seeing some wear and tear to it. Um, the parts are replaceable, um, but from what I can tell, they haven't been in stock lately, but that seems to be par for the course for a lot of things right now, given the current circumstances with supply chain. So I'll go ahead and wrap up my thoughts on the power shovel situation. Hope this video was helpful for you. If you found it to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.